almost looks like James Bond's ejector seat. Sort of. Sitting there. Does it, does it eject? It might fly. For demonstration purposes <laughs> only. Hey, one of the bills filed in Tallahassee this legislative session addresses a big safety issue for children, and that's car accidents. House Bill 387 would provide child restraint requirements for children aged 4 through 8, specifically booster seats. And we have with us in studio today Children's Board of Hillsborough County CEO Lou Ann Panasek. And to fill us in about some particulars about this legislation, uh, Bevan Maynard with her daughter Morgan from Safe Kids Tampa. And uh, let's start out by talking about why booster seat safety is important to the Children's Board just in general. Well, in general, uh, the Children's Board has always been a big advocate for safety and for services and supports that protect kids. Mm -hmm. We have a year-long media campaign, and our partners are the Department of Child and Family uh, Services, used to be HRS, right, and Healthy Start. And so that campaign has three phases, and we're focusing on things that are preventable deaths for kids. Well, and I know one of the big issues that has, that has sort of plagued the child seat situation is that no matter how good or bad a child seat you have, a lot of times the adults don't put it in the, the seat correctly. It's not fastened in properly, and kids still get hurt. Kids still get hurt, but most people don't know that you need a booster seat after after a car seat. Mm -hmm. And more kids are killed in the vehicle accidents because of not having car seats or booster seats than any other cause of death. Um, it's the highest leading cause of death for children 2 to 14. Wow. And 47 states, including the District of Columbia, require booster seats. So Florida is one of very few places that does not. So, Bevan, what is the scoop on the legislation? Uh, I mean, I, I guess, you know, it's in the hands of the legislature now and God knows right. what's going to happen but what is what is being proposed right now well it's that after age four it's from four up to age eight a child needs to go into a booster seat but we don't want parents to take them out of the car seat too soon mm -hmm. but it's pretty it's a much weight a weight issue right um, it's actually recommended it's age and weight but the law is only age and okay. that's for enforcement purposes it's just a lot easier to enforce right but we really recommend um, uh, poundage and height really pounds because most car seats go to 40 pounds and then you want to move them into the booster some even go to 65 pounds so you want to wait that long which could be six six and a half there are probably parents out there who are thinking oh well I just strapped my child in but let's uh, we actually want to demonstrate for everybody how this works because it is actually pretty unsafe to use the seatbelt in its normal uh, restraint I guess uh, with a child so Morgan come on, come honey. on up baby here we go. Well, I especially I wanted today. to show how the seatbelt does not fit. Wow. Okay, and Morgan is almost five. And uh, this is regardless of what, I mean, the, the kids by law have to be in the back seat if they're uh, a certain age, yes. don't they? What, well, is, what um, is that? Well, it's not actually a law. It's a recommendation, recommendation that they're in the back seat. But it is a primary law that they are strapped in. Mm -hmm. That passed last year. Um, but with the seatbelt, as you can tell, it's not comfortable. It's on her soft belly where she can actually get major in injuries, internal injuries. And it's rubbing on her on neck. Her neck. And her neck. That's so. not comfortable, is it, Morgan? No? No. <laughs> so what do kids usually do with it? It's on my mouth. It gets oh. on her mouth. Yeah, so, I bet it does. a lot of kids do this. Yeah. And then that leaves no upper body protection. And that's, that's where we point. see ejections. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. All right, well, before so. Morgan gets a ticket for sitting illegally, <laughs> let's get her strapped in the right way. Oh, wow. Okay. All right. <laughs> And this actually, so you don't even have to lock that in anymore? No, no, and you don't want oh, to. Oh, really? Nope. Okay. It's really easy. Go ahead. There we go. So now she's at the height of an adult, basically, and so her her strap's going to fit her the same way that it would fit mm -hmm. us. Yep. And that's what you want. You want the oh, seat you can, belt. You can tuck it in there so it's sort of adjustable. Look at that. Mm -hmm. Belly. You can sit there all day, right, Morgan? And now it's low on her hips, which are hard, and it's right over her shoulder blade, which are hard, and that actually keeps them in the seat, and it spreads the crash forces over their body. It's and on my heart. And it's on her it's heart. On her heart. It's protecting her heart. So what do you think? You like it? Yes. So I do want to emphasize, though, just because the law is from 4 to 7, you don't want to take them out of the car seat right away. You want right. to really keep that car seat and use it until the weight limit is met, mm -hmm. which most seats now even go up to 50 or 65 pounds. She's 38 pounds and almost 5. So I actually have a car seat that she's still in, and mm -hmm. she'll be in it probably till she's about 6. Wow. Yeah, and I, then she'll go in the booster. And, you know, if nothing else, it'll help keep the uh, car seats a little bit cleaner because, you know, <laughs> think about it. You know, we got kids, you got the juice boxes, you got can't oh, whatever, right. you know. It'll, it'll protect that expensive leather upholstery. Oh, 
and oh. like, see, this has got all the amenities. There's also a cup holder. <laughs> oh, there yeah. we go. We have a sippy cup holder here yes. in the side of the And booster. we do have seats available at no charge through funding that we receive from the Children's Board um, and from Florida Department of Transportation. So they just need to call us at our Children's Advocacy Center. Mm -hmm. It's 813-615-0589. Um, we'll give them information about it. And uh, Luann, this is really important for people to do, even though it isn't technically law. I know people are going to be wanting to monitor how that the bill is doing as it goes mm -hmm. through the legislature. But as of right now, even though it is just recommended, it is incredibly important. It's very important because it will prevent deaths. Mm -hmm. One out of three kids are thrown from the car if they're not wearing a, a kind of safety belt or safety seat. And three out of four kids that are thrown out of their car die. And what was the uh, statistic you gave us at the beginning of the segment about... Uh, car deaths and children is it's the number one it's the number say it, say one it again. it's the number one killer of children two to fourteen wow oh my gosh well if you missed the number that bevan gave out then we have it at studio 10.tv for you as well so that you can get take advantage of uh, the funding to get a booster seat if you don't already have one or if you can't afford to go and get one uh, where are these available otherwise where can you find a you booster? can go to um, www dreams worth growing the website and find a family support and resource center and you can go there and get one I want to encourage people to get in touch with Representative Rich Glorioso and their other delegation members, legislative mm -hmm. delegation members, to advocate for the passage of this. It doesn't cost any tax dollars, and it will prevent deaths. Well, thank you all for being here. Thanks, Morgan, ladies. thank you. Back to school. Back to school, young lady. <laughs> she, she wanted to go so bad. <laughs> Coming up next spring, will bring a variety of Florida film festivals, and that means cool films and some famous actors coming to town. Creative Loafing's movie man Joe Marty breaks them down.